the fifth Sunday of Easter. The gospel today is one we usually hear at funerals. It starts the long four chapter uh, section of John's gospel, <clears throat> which is called, <clears throat> excuse me, the last discourse. He's speaking, um, John, in the words of Jesus, is speaking the theology and the prayer of the early Johannine community. And it's, um, it, it, there's a little bit of a press conference thing to it that Thomas asks him a question and Philip asks him a question, all responding to Jesus saying, well, I'm going, but don't let your hearts be troubled. I'm preparing a place for you. And you know the way. And Thomas says, we don't, we don't know the way. And Jesus says, well, I am the way and the truth and the life. So it's, we could talk a lot about what's this place where um, Jesus is preparing us to go. Is it heaven? Um, and we don't know what heaven is. And, and we, we take a chance and we, we kind of buy heaven. There's a spirituality. You do these things and you get a prize of heaven. Well, that's a whole nother, not even a homily, that's a semester's course. But um, I, must, I want to share with you uh, about the way, the truth, and the life. I recently had a conference with a young student here, and he asked me a very simple question. How, how can I form or be in a relationship? It's about relationships. And, uh, and he's, he's a shy lad and really, really wants to have friends and especially a girlfriend. And he has a, a, a girl that he's attracted to and she's very bubbly and he is, um, he needs a little bubblification. Um, and he said, what's, what's the way? And I said, ooh, that's what, that's what Thomas was asking um, Jesus. Um, I will tell you how, what I, how I spoke with him, but um, in the, at the end of the, today's gospel, and I highly recommend reading chapter 14, especially the first 12 verses, which is the gospel for today. And Jesus says to them, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do and will do greater ones than these because I am going to the Father. What's all that about? Um, we would like to do good things. And this young lad is saying, "What?" What can I do? How do I start the conversation? What's the way? Remember last week, uh, Jesus said, I am the gate. I'm not the good shepherd. I'm not the gatekeeper. I am the gate and I am the one through whom you get into the community and I am the one that goes out through which you go out having been in the community. And that's about the doing good things. So I am, I am the way, he says, and I am the life. And this young man really wanted life. He wanted more life than he had been living as a student here. He wanted to make friends with other male students and especially Susie Q and how to do that. Uh, let, me, let me tell you what I told him, which is what Jesus is, is saying to the apostles, you're gonna do great things. I said to him, you know, it's hard to invite someone into your house if you're not there. It's hard to go swimming 
relationships. If you're standing in the very shallow, up to your ankle end of the pool. And he said, it's hard, and he told me, it's hard for me to risk. I said, right. That's where I go to the gospel. I am the way, the truth, and the life. There is life. And the life of doing good works, which Jesus has been doing, by going beyond the confines of non-risking. And he said to me, I like to play within the lines. I like structure. I like business. I like predictability. And Jesus is saying, do not let your hearts be troubled so that you don't risk. I am sending you to risk. My good works have been done because I risked. I risked being who I was. I was at home with myself, and I have invited you to make your home in me, because I'm at home with me. And, and, and that's what Jesus calls us to, in, and I think in this gospel. And he's, he's, be, he's gonna be talking about sending us the advocate and the paraclete and the Holy Spirit to help you be at home with yourself first. And then the good works you do will be because you are at home with yourself. And I am at home in you. I have made my home in you. And I am preparing a place for you. Is that heaven? Where I am going, is that heaven? Or is it where I am going is into you? I am coming into you that you may do even greater works than I have been doing because you're at home with me and at home with yourself. I have made you at home with yourself. And the young lad said, that's, that's hard for me to do. And I said, as long as you are at home or not at home with yourself, you have to play within the lines, the structure, the predictable. But Jesus is saying, I am the life out there. And he's preparing the apostles for out there, not here. So it's, it's, a, it's a challenging gospel. Is it about heaven? Um, I don't think Jesus talked much about what heaven is going to be like. And we have all kinds of images, and, and some aren't, aren't really pleasant. We're just gonna sit there and pray all day or, or sing or worship God. That's not real attractive to us. You know what's attractive to us? It's life. And Jesus is saying, I am going that you may have life. And I have come to you that you may have life. If you make your home in you as I have made my home in you, you will do great things. And they will be because you risked friendship, adventure, uh, going beyond the boundaries of risklessness into uh, saying hello to Susie Q. That's a big step for him. But for us to, to go out and say hello to, and can I help you and can I be a part of your life can I sacramentally relate and do the great things? Jesus says, you know, I've done good things, but you are going to do even greater things because I am in you and I am the way into life. And I will give you life to, to distribute. So when the young lad left, I said, you come back next fall. I want to hear her name. Who did you say hello to and who did you converse with and who, who did you find life a little bit sharing the way Jesus is, risking going beyond the confines of predictability, 
No adventure. Oh, this is a hard gospel. Jesus is leaving us not to ourselves, but to his brothers and sisters. That's the way. That's the truth. And that's what life is. <laughs>